When you think of businesses and moving inventory, some of the largest companies come to mind. With huge strings of trucks and trailers, you think mega businesses would have a major advantage over the little guy. According to the IRS, in 2004 there were 24.7 million small businesses in the U.S. and of those, 18.6 million had no employees. The micro business entrepreneur is one of the fastest growing business segments in the country. This new breed may have a job and be working a business at the same time. Sometimes it's a hobby, sometimes it's just a way to make extra money. No matter how you look at it, small business and micro business owners are some serious competition because they don't play by the old rules. It used to be if you wanted to have a small business, you'd have to have a warehouse and then everything would have to be packed in there until it was ordered. Now you don't need that anymore because just in time it's the accepted norm. So this building is probably obsolete for most small businesses. Today's business owner keep things leaner with product warehousing working on the very edge of the just-in-time system. It stands to reason that shipping would be an enormous cost, but there are other ways to do things to keep costs down. My name is Mark Hinkle and this is my book. Dr. Mark Hinkle runs a clinic in Brazoria, Texas, but he has written a very technical book for building a CNC milling machine. Rather than have it printed and shipped, he has an alternative method for getting it to the customer. This is a home page for our uh, ebook delivery site. Um, when somebody comes to this page, they see the book that they want. Uh, they place their order, and the uh, autoresponder sends me a notice of uh, payment through PayPal. When that's received, then I send them the book as an email attachment. It's about 10 megs in size, and uh, they're sent within 24 hours if payment received. Um, we principally use uh, ebook format and uh, have very little printed material sent out, though that can be done as well. Uh, most of our business occurs actually through eBay, where the book is listed as well. Not everything can be sent electronically, so a host of new businesses have been born from the need to supply a service. Hi, my name is Susie Gillis, and I'm the store owner of this store, which is the UPS store. Susie Gillis runs a UPS store in Galveston, Texas that has everything needed to mail, pack, and ship any product around the country. The store also features mailboxes, copiers, and fax machines to make it a one-stop processing center for the small business owner. Her business is one of over 1,700 UPS stores around the U.S. Being backed by a huge company is a great way to take advantage of the economy of scale while still giving one-on-one -on -one attention to the customer. With door-to-door -door pickup and online scheduling, it's easy for a small business owner to get his product to the customer. But sometimes the old school methods work the best for some businesses. My name is Nathan Gatch and this is my wedding chapel. As a wedding photographer, Nathan Gatch uses a very sophisticated digital camera, but his customers still want hard copy prints. He processes the prints and gets them ready to ship within a few days, but shipping via UPS or FedEx is cost prohibitive. Uh, send them media mail. The U.S. Postal Service may be an alternative for some small businesses, but what if you travel most of the time? Shipping can be a challenge if you're not physically present to pack and ship the products that are sold. My name is Randy Good, and I'm the owner of Good Cattle Company. I collect rare animal DNA for the USDA in Clay Center, Nebraska. This contract takes me all over the country, so it's impossible to be at the office and on the road at the same time. Since my company sells products around the world, I had to come up with a way to get my inventory shipped. I developed a floor plan at the manufacturer so that all the goods we sell are drop shipped directly to the customer so I never have to touch the products. This frees me up to do other very important business activities like developing new ad campaigns or taking care of paperwork. But what if you want to do international shipping? That's a little more difficult. So the question is, how do I get my product onto one of these ships? One of the least expensive ways to get products overseas is by shipping. The problem is you have to fill a container that's about this size. That's over 2,500 cubic feet of space that you have to fill up. It's not easy for a small business to do. So what's the answer? Thank you.
Thank you for calling AmericanFastCargo.com. The Internet is full of freight forwarders that manage shipments from business owners all over the U.S. You might not have a full container load, but 300 small businesses working together can fill a container very quickly. This process helps level the playing field between the big and small businesses and the international market. Small businesses have come a long way in the past few years. With all the huge strides in technology and the innovative solutions available to the entrepreneur, it's very feasible for a micro or a small business to compete in the global market against even the largest competitors.